Yeah, you know, um, honestly, we're it's been great. Um, we're just, I think, really happy to even have a season. Um, we know that we're fortunate enough to be in a district where, you know, the um, administration is allowing us to play and, you know, providing us the resources we need to get out there. Uh, I can't say enough positive things about the group of girls I've got this year. Um, they work hard. They're committed. Um, they have been, uh, you know, we, we returned 11 players, all 11 players, as a matter of fact. And so it's really been the same kind of core for several years now. Um, so the chemistry has been off the charts and um, there's been, you know, some challenges to deal with and some logistics that we've had to adjust to, but, you know, once, once practice starts or once the game starts, it really does just feel like basketball again. And so it's, it's been really great to be out there. We'll start off uh, with Millie. How has your experience been uh, getting ready for the season? And I can only imagine it must be uh, tough playing with the masks, uh, but how, how has it been so far? Um, yeah, it's definitely different, um, especially wearing masks, like you said. Um, and there's also a lot of new guidelines that we have to follow, but by this point, I think we've pretty much gotten used to it. Um, but other than that, practices have been fun. Um, the team has a really special bond, which is definitely important. Uh, but given the circumstances we have now, um, I'm just hoping we get back on the court um, as soon as possible because since the season is shorter this year, um, we're coming close to an end. Um, but we're definitely lucky to actually have a season this year. So. And Caroline, how has your uh, experience been uh, so far this season? And you must be excited to be back out there. Yeah, um, I've definitely been really excited. Like Millie said, um, we're just really lucky that we actually get to play and we've been very appreciative. And something that coach says like every day in practice and at every game is that we really don't know how many games and practices we're guaranteed to have. So I think everyone really does take that to heart and especially the seniors. It's hard knowing it's like our last season, but um, we really do take it to heart and work hard and practice every day and push each other and compete. And Lulu, how has your experience been? Um, I'm sure you're happy to be uh, back out there. Yeah, it's definitely nice to play with everyone again. And it's definitely easier since we did return everybody. So it, it, it definitely is a little harder to like learn new things like with the mass and with like the new guidelines. But I think it definitely helps that like we all have already played together and everything. And uh, coach, uh, what's been the toughest transition for you this year? I know there hasn't been uh, too many rule changes, but are there any uh, procedures in practice or game procedures that have taken a bit of getting used to? I'd imagine uh, a procedure change such as the limited halftime breaks uh, must yeah. be a little more difficult for you. Yeah, I think, um, you know, the, the biggest the, the biggest things in the game have been, you know, there's no more baseline out of bounds plays and they're limiting the number of players you know, that are in the lane on a free throw, um, you know, so that's been a, been a minor adjustment, but I, I think you, you nailed it when, you know, you mentioned that there's no halftime, there's no more pregame real, you know, pregame talk and things like that. So it's kind of, we show up, we get off the bus, we stretch and we play, you know, and I'm sure the kids like it cause they don't have to listen to me give a, you know, 10, 15 minute spiel on all the things we want to do that night. But um, that's been a little bit of an adjustment. So it's been, you know, a lot more preparing and practice the day before. Millie, what's been the uh, toughest change for you this season? Uh, obviously, there's the fact that you got to wear masks when you're out there. And I know uh, some of the warm up procedures have changed. And of course, the halftime shorter. Uh, is there any of these changes that you've uh, found particularly difficult to work with? Um, I would say that um, during the games, especially, we're not allowed to like pick anyone up or high five anyone and that's been difficult because I love supporting my teammates so that's definitely been very difficult especially during practice too. And Caroline how about you with uh, the changes anything that's been particularly difficult for you to work with? Um, I think definitely the masks it can be hard to breathe and even <clears throat> just hear like our teammates at times but um, a big one I would say is probably just like the social aspect um, outside of being on the court um, our team, especially returning, like all our players, we're just always super, super close and hang out all the time, like during our um, off season. So I think not having um, like our spaghetti dinners and 
just team hangouts and sleepovers have been tough, but we haven't let that impact us at all because we're still very close. We're very loud and talkative, as I'm sure coach knows. We're always like dying laughing in practices. <laughs> now, do you Both ever have to go people. off to the side? <laughs> what was that, coach? So the bus ride sing-alongs on the way home or something, oh, yeah. that, something special. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you ever have to go off to the side and kind of like just pull the mask up for a minute and just breathe some fresh air <laughs> sometimes I mean it can be hard because obviously we have to keep them on but it's really not bad thankfully coach doesn't have us running sprints all the time so I think that he definitely takes that into account which is nice as long as the refs don't see right <laughs> Uh, Lulu, how about you? Uh, what's been some of the uh, toughest obstacles uh, that you've had to deal with this season with the changes because of the COVID-19 pandemic? Um, one of the things that's definitely different is the pregame ritual. Like we have like certain like traditions and like it's kind of like a routine that we had going like we would. And then also like the posters that Coach Greco would make like that really got us ready for the game. And it's kind of like just like straight to business now, which like in a way I guess is nice because it's just like we get straight to it. But also it was something that we had done before every game for the past two years. So it is definitely different. 